The movie Vinyl is based on a, a true life incident involving my rock and roll band The Alarm from 2004, whereby um, we created a fake band to front the single we were releasing at the time. Um, we were a band that had been around for a long time at that point, um, and we were, felt we'd become sort of invisible to the media in general. And uh, so we decided to come up with a subterfuge and created a fake 18 year old band. We got four young guys to appear in the video, in the music video, instead of ourselves. And then we, we fronted the record to the BBC and MTV in that way, and the record became a big hit. It entered into the, the UK top 30, and then uh, the news got hold of it and just became a massive story and uh, a global story. And we were on. BBC News, CBS in America, it travelled the whole globe and uh, and that was nine years ago and uh, in 2004 and now here in 2013. We've got a film called Vinyl starring Phil Daniels based on the whole thing. That could be a hit. The band split up years ago and that was the end of that chapter. Wouldn't it be so? Back in the charts after all these years. It'd be a bloody miracle, that's what it would be. The film was directed by Sarah Sugarman who, who people will know from films like very Annie Mary or Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen. Um, I knew her uh, from going to school and she came to see our punk band in 1977. We had a punk band called The Toilets and we supported The Clash and The Buzzcocks and we, we burnt a very fast candle and we, 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 we burnt out before we'd even played the gigs almost. But Sarah was one of the few people that saw what we did and, and she, she ended up going out with a bass player. And, and, and we had a life that crisscrossed here and there as, as the, the, the years went by, but when I was in Los Angeles doing a, a talk show about the 45 RPM incident, and uh, that was there that um, the writer of the, music, of the movie, Jim Cooper, brought uh, John H. Williams, who's the producer of the Shrek films, to meet me for the first time, and they were enthusing about this British director they had for ages without saying a name. And I said, who, who are we talking about here? And they went, oh, you'll, you won't know her name, Sarah Sugarman. I went, well, I nearly fell over. I said, well, actually, I went to school with her. And I phoned her and said, you're going to have a meeting about this film called Vinyl that, that's being talked about with, with the producers of Shrek. And she said, how do you know? And I said, let me tell you a story. And as soon as I told the story, she said, I'm in. <laughs> I say we give them what they want. We are a load of spotty kids to stand in for us, my mom music. Free rock and roll. Free rock and roll. Free rock and roll. Destroy the system. Start the revolution in your living room now. The vinyl film really um, covers the topic of ageism in, in, in all forms of the media, never mind rock and roll. You know, when, when you go through a certain age barrier as a band, often you do become invisible. People don't want to listen to your records in the same way. Everyone is obsessed with new music, you know, the, the Radio 1 banner is in New Music We Trust and, and our subterfuge by creating the Poppy Fields, creating this fake band front of the alarm single was, was basically to say, what about good music? Shouldn't that just come into it? It doesn't matter who it's made by. That's where the song that drives the film Free Rock and Roll, that's where that's come from. The, 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 the barriers need to be taken down in rock and roll. It's not about who's making it, it's, or it's about everybody making it and all being part of this great community. Uh, and rock and roll is about liberation, it's about exchange of ideas, it's about inspiration and, and, and aspiration. And that's something for everybody, whether you're 60 or 16. And, and that's what I think vinyl and the performance of the characters and the music that's in the film, I think that's what it gets across. Well, I'm from Wales, but in a way I'm almost Scottish now because I, I sing for The Alarm from Wales and I also sing for Big Country from Scotland. And uh, so my uh, life story is... is has embedded me in, in Scottish culture in a way, and uh, I've spent a lot of time here, here in, in, the, in recent years, and I sort of feel half Scottish. And so to, to be able to tell uh, the Scottish fans who, who know me through my work with Big Country and uh, that about my work with The Alarm and where I come from in Wales, it's a great opportunity for people to, to get to know this person that sings in their favourite band, so which is hopefully their new favourite band, uh, and um, and uh, it's a so it's a great opportunity.